Hey guys, welcome to the campus of Georgetown University. Well, we're going to walk around a little bit before making our way down. Probably going to walk down the Potomac today, but uh, we'll walk around through Georgetown and then head over towards the White House and a few other places. Students are actually coming back. There's actually quite a few students back on campus. So there's the observatory back there. I don't think you can see it. Oh, wait a second. Because it's so bright. There's a new football stadium. They just finished building, though they didn't have a football season last year. And then this is uh, Harbin Hall. Harbin Hall. This is where Bill Clinton lived. When Bill Clinton was a student at Georgetown, he lived in Harbin Hall, so I'm told. Though, to be honest, it looks a lot newer than when he would have been here, but that's what they say. He lived in Harbin. So... Let's cut back through this building. So this is a little chapel back here at Georgetown. Oh, I'm using my hand, no selfie stick. Because I'm actually shooting with two cameras. I'm shooting one camera for YouTube, which will be in 4K, and one camera for Periscope, which is live Twitter. Is this open today? I think there was one scene from The Exorcist was filmed in this chapel. So we're going to go down into the streets of Georgetown, then we're going to go down to the river, over to the Lincoln Memorial, pop up by the White House and then make our way to the Capitol. This is going to be a long walk today. Probably like an hour. It's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what? Oh, 14 Celsius, something like that. 12, 14 Celsius. Not really sure off the top of my head. This is like interesting because this is now, for the first time in like a year, it's actually hard to park here. It is pretty good walking temperature. I am a little overdressed. Hmm. This is another dorm, I think. Let's cut down the street real quick. So that's uh, Trinity Church. Holy Trinity. That's where uh, Joe Biden goes to church when he was a vice president. And I think he's been there two or three times as president. Since He also went up to the campus of Georgetown for a church. It's just uh, easier. I think it's more self-contained on campus. So if you watch my walk through you, Georgetown, we walked on this block the other day. This is captain's row and we looked it up one of these houses is for sale for six million dollars which personally i think is a bargain given how expensive the houses in georgetown go it's still about six million dollars more than i can afford but i can dream six million for these corner ones are ten million but this one right here, this red brick one, is 6 million, 6.1 million. We looked it up on Zillow the other day as we were walking down this block. So if you did watch my video the other day, have no fear, we're gonna go down a different road. We're gonna see more stuff, new stuff. Yeah, so that's, that red one there is 6.1 million. Um, we're not in a formal lockdown in DC. But we do have like reduced capacity restaurants, stores, no outdoor sports. Like my kids' school, they can't have outdoor sports basically. It's that red house with the green shutters. And that's where John F. Kennedy lived as Senator Kennedy just prior to taking 
well, moving to the White House. So that was his last private residence, basically. And then this house over here on the right is the house that had the little plaque for the news media guys. And that plaque up there. This oh. is a cobblestone street. Back from the days of the trolleys. I'm gonna wait for the cars to pass. this car isn't coming down here so this is the cobblestone streets of Georgetown this is the old streetcar line the streetcar used to run from here I think it went all the way to the US Capitol and back and it went much farther out into Maryland out past an amusement park called Glen Echo then it was replaced by buses but they kept the trolley tracks here so this big monster house up here on the corner, I looked at this house like 20 years ago when they had just renovated it. And they were asking like 10 million for it. I think they're still asking somewhere around 10 million for this house. It didn't really appreciate in value that much. Whereas this little gray house here on the corner, this little wooden shack, I looked at this house 15 years ago and they wanted $400,000 for this little tiny gray house. I have no doubt it's probably 700, it's probably double that now. It's just crazy. Crazy money. So we're down by the CNO Canal towpath. Still at a renovation. Hopefully they'll flood it this year. I'm hearing lots of sirens over there. Hmm. Not sure what's up over there. Here's the canal. Oh, they don't even want you down on the boardwalk today. Yep, put up the flood walls. So they've activated the flood defenses for this building. You can see on my right, these giant steel walls were lifted up probably in the last 24 hours uh, to keep back the river. It is likely the area that I'm walking on will be underwater soon. They're reporting really heavy rain or rate, rivers up, up north of here and it's making its way down. So yeah, you can see the flood walls have been activated. The other day we were looking at a fountain back here. And today, today it just looks like Berlin. It's kind of a common theme in Washington, D.C. right now. If they put barbed wire on the top, it would look like the Capitol. <laughs> and they're not even letting us go out here on the boardwalk because the water is so high. So this is Rock Creek, and it is, uh, it is also overflowing its banks. Here's the big shells, the big rowing boats of the cruise. There's a homeless camp back there. These are the big boats used by Georgetown, George Washington, and the high schools who have crew programs. Tomorrow is March 4th, and there are some people who believe under the original Constitution, before it was amended by, what, the 20th Amendment, that the president is supposed to be inaugurated on March 4th. And they believe that President Trump is going to come back, arrest all the traitors, and put himself back in power tomorrow. So the Capitol is gearing up for possible protests. There's even reports of people who want to make their way into the Capitol, like there was on January 6th. And then there are people who are saying, yeah, it ain't going to happen. So we will see tomorrow what happens. <laughs> so over here, I'll just show you this. 
my kids learned about this at rowing camp. This, uh, these light over here, these are poop lights, okay? When there's a lot of heavy rain and raw sewage is discharging directly into the uh, tributaries of the Potomac, these lights will light up, eh, 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 meaning sewage overflow. There is poop being discharged into the river. So if you're out rowing and you see these lights on, well, you don't want to drink the water, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so the kids call it, oh, it's the poop light. Breaking the law. We made it. But I mean, how much fun is it to walk when you're next to like a freeway? Not that much fun at all. Hmm. Music, music and harvest, cast in Naples in 1950, a gift from the people of Italy to the people of the United States. So if you guessed Italian, you won. This one is Aspiration and Literature, cast in bronze in Rome in 1950 a gift from the people of Italy to the people of the United States. That was nice of them. And there's two more over there on the way to Arlington Cemetery. Let me guess, you want me to go up to the Lincoln Memorial? Yeah, there's vans here all the time. It doesn't really do much. They even have like the uh, windows, windshield wipers flipped up because I don't think they want the windshield wipers to freeze to the window. What do you think, guys? Should we go up there? Of course we should. We're here. Might as well. starting to bud. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the cherry blossoms are coming soon. They're playing their music again. Maybe we just, let's swing over to the Korean War Memorial. I haven't been over here very often. So, yeah, kid crying. So the Korean War Memorial is one of the more recent memorials in the last 20 years, I guess. I guess World War II is more recent than that. World War One is supposed to open in a couple of months. So they have the POW MIA flag flying here. We did a video yesterday about POW flags. A lot of people, especially people overseas, weren't familiar with the POW flag. They didn't know why it was over so many buildings in Washington. This is an army patrol in Korea, but I'm told there's one Navy guy. It might be this guy, or on the other side. 
one no it's like it's over there navy or air force guy they're like spotters or they were like calling in close air support Yeah, like artillery or air power support. And so, I know there's one Air Force guy because I can tell by the hat back there. But I thought there was a Navy guy too. And then over here they have the faces of the men who served. These are actual veterans who were sort of etched in. Kind of like like haunting how you don't see them until you see them you know and then it looks like some people from korea have just put up some memorials remember the forgotten who is this from from the koreans class of 1959 kyunggi high school so this is a gift from a high school in Korea to pay respects to the Americans who died fighting in the Korean War. So maybe they had a school group come over or something or had someone place that for them. What was that famous movie? There's a famous Korean movie. 72 into the fire or 75 into the fire or 74 into the fire what's that that's I, there's this korean war movie true story um north korean troops were advancing squeezing down in the pusan perimeter the americans and the korean troops were on the back foot and there was a lot of fear they might get squashed and there was a private high school a military high school with like 72, 74 kids, high school kids, and they fought off a Korean, a North Korean advance. In fact, a crack unit of North Korean troops was delayed to give time for the Americans and the Republic of Korean forces to reinforce and come to their rescue. And so they fought this important, very important holding action. It's called like 72 into the fire, 74 into the fire, something like that. Anyway, it was like, it was like a mega popular Korean box office starred like a bunch of K-pop stars as the uh, as the kids. 71 into the fire? I don't remember. But anyway, if you're looking for a movie to watch with a Korean house. This is like a long walk. It looks short, but it really ends up being a hike like there's a uh, very interesting when you hear motorcycles and sirens it's usually a motorcade we'll see I wonder if I can get up to 17th Street in time hmm. I know the president didn't have anything on his schedule today well, there's a motorcade over there. <laughs> Sometimes I miss them. See, if I had gone to the Vietnam Wall, I, we would have seen that much closer because I would have been on the other side. Oh, well. There will be another one. So down here, Besides the World War II memorial is some hidden graffiti put in by the sculptors. Let me see if I can zoom in. Kilroy was here. That was a famous piece of graffiti throughout the European and Pacific theaters where they drew this little symbol that meant we had been here. Kilroy was here. Yeah, we can show the different quarries up ahead. We might be able to see it. The sun's pretty good today. Sometimes the sun's bright. Oh, so here comes, here comes all the motorcycles from that motorcade. Sidecars. One, two, three. 
So they're making their way back to, I don't know where they go during the day. They're like special operations units. So they go back to the special operations base. Should be able to see the difference in stone color up on the monument. About a third of the way up, the stones change color. They switch quarries after a delay. The White House is over there on our left, off in the distance. There's the White House. The Vice President is staying at Blair House, which is across the street, which is why we just saw the motorcade go by from the Pentagon back to Blair House. So where are we at? 12th Street. We're at 12th Street. I think we can go down to about 3rd Street, so it's about nine more blocks till we get to the fence line of the U.S. Capitol. And then we have to turn around. And <laughs> we're halfway done. It is in session. What are they restoring? Um, right now, the major restoration project is the Air and Space Museum. They're doing kind of a bump out or a bump up to add a little more storage space. Air and Space is probably the most popular museum, but it shows its sign of wear and tear quite a bit. Unfortunately, all these museums are closed. This is the natural history over here on the left. It's closed. The Smithsonian Castle over here on the right is closed. The Arts and Industry Museum is actually being renovated on the inside. They're going to have a new display about American industry, I think, opening, well, when COVID ends. Yeah, they do sell freeze-dried ice cream at the Air and Space Museum. It's a popular gift. It does actually taste like ice cream. Ah. You know, they've had fences before at the Capitol. In fact, for every state of the Union, they put up a fence, but it's like a wooden snow fence. It's more like, oh, just don't go this way. Today, now, we've got these huge fences. In fact, these non-scalable barbed wire fences, which is really, really quite annoying. Now, they're going to take down, the big one is 12 feet high. They're taking that one down and replacing it with an 8 foot high fence. And we'll probably get a bike. We would probably get a bicycle to go back to Georgetown. Oh, there's those New York City taxis. They're over at the National Art Gallery right now. Not any tourists to see them, but they're there. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there, too. There's like a dozen. So they're going to take this fence down, and we're going to get this road back, which is why a lot of people are excited, because this road is actually a pretty big commuter road to get onto the uh, freeway. Though I don't know if the freeway ramps will be opened. Yeah, everybody's upset about this fence, to be honest. It looks ugly. It's really, it's kind of an overreaction. And it's hurting our image abroad. Every time someone takes a picture of the Capitol with a fence, it just looks pathetic. Ah, so there's a few National Guard guys here today. So they're going to take this fence down, and then they're just going to replace it with the fence on the other side of the street. <laughs> Yay. So for those of you on Periscope, this is going to be your end, but for YouTube, we're going to keep going. So you guys can see this on my YouTube channel, Penguin6. This had barbed wire the other day, but now it's gone, and they're going to put the barbed wire on the other side of the street. So they're putting the barbed wire up on the other side of the street right now. They had taken it down the other day on this side of the street, but you can just never have enough barbed wire, I guess. In fact, that looks like the same guy I talked to last week, a couple days ago. Let's see if we can get a video of this. There goes the fence again.
wear a helmet, follow the traffic laws. One dollar to unlock. Unlock the thing. Bicycle is active. It's a fire truck in here. So up ahead, those uh, red brick buildings that look like a U.S. military base. Well, it is. That's Fort McNair. That's the Army War College and the National Defense University. It's also where the uh, Lincoln conspirators were executed. The trial was held for them on this base, and then they were hung on this base. Now, I'm trying to get a tour of the courthouse, but it's only open four days a year. Four days a year do they open the courthouse to tourists. And with COVID, as you can imagine, it's a bit crazy. So we'll keep trying. Maybe one, one month we'll end up getting a tour of the courthouse where the Lincoln conspirators were tried. And then there's a, they were executed out back, but there's no memorial or plaque or anything like that. Someone said, we don't memorialize traitors. And as a result, there's never been a plaque or anything like that. Now, up here on my left is the Titanic Memorial. Long before Leonard DiCaprio was out with his arms outstretched, this memorial was set up to the brave men who perished in the wreck of the Titanic, who gave their lives so that women and children might be saved. Well, you know, I think some women died too. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but, uh, well, you know, it was the 1910s. Can I go back here? Yeah, I can. Oh, look at all this crap back here. So down there, oops, sorry, camera. Let's stop here. So down there is Fort McNair, and that's the housing for some of the top army officers in the Pentagon. And they have their houses down there. That is where they filmed a couple scenes from No Way Out. Gene Hackman's supposed house was down there if you watched No Way Out with Gene Hackman and Kevin Costner. A good film for seeing DC. Ugh. I think part of the problem. If you look at some of my old videos, I have walked inside the Jefferson Memorial. I have filmed it. You can see it. But today I'm on a bike, and there's no way I'm taking this bike up those stairs. <laughs> but we will give you a view. the Jefferson and across the way the Washington Monument and the Tidal Basin White House there in the background look at this this is actually there's actually walkway over here that's underwater yeah so the actual Tidal the Cherry Blossom walkway is totally flooded on my uh, right here so these trees are in Big trouble on this side of the monument. But there's, yeah, there's a walkway down here, guys. You can't even see it because it's underwater, but I could walk. There, 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 the walkway comes up down here. Uh. I'm gonna pass these people up here. is really annoying. Wow. You know, if I put my hand on this thing, it's a lot quieter. Ah, much more peaceful once I fix the bike thing. And we're back. I had to tell my son to make his own way to soccer today because I didn't wasn't sure if I'd be home. Oh yeah. And we made it. And we made it. Up. Upside down. There's the canal.
it's not fun. <laughs> So we're making our way back to campus. We'll ditch the bike in front of the campus. The light's not really cooperating with me. Now it's moving. There we go. I think the bike has kind of died again, too. It's probably not a zoom. Sure. See, I do stop at stop signs, and then I fall over and die. <laughs> I would have ran it, but she was just about to step in front of me. So I do occasionally stop at stop signs. Not always, just occasionally. Call oh, Your Mother is the name of the bagel shop. This is the one that Biden went to, where Biden's limousine stopped. He didn't get out. Somebody ran in and grabbed all bagels and brought it to his car. All righty then. Okay, guys, we have finished our grand adventure today. Be sure to watch tomorrow where we'll go up and see what's going on on March 4th in Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.